the coronavirus pandemic brought financial hardship to millions of Americans, including those relying on Social Security benefits. To provide relief, the government issued several rounds of stimulus payments. Now, an additional $2,000 check is on the way for Social Security recipients including those on SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. This much-needed money can help cover expenses and provide financial stability. Who is eligible for the new $2,000 stimulus payment? If you currently receive Social Security Retirement, SSDI, SSI, or VA benefits, you are likely eligible for the new stimulus payment. Dependents listed on SSI or SSDI claims may also qualify. The $2,000 amount will be sent automatically to beneficiaries, so there is no need to apply. Qualification is based on having an active Social Security claim number. As long as you have one established before the payment date, you should receive the stimulus deposit. It does not matter if you also earn other income like wages or self-employment money. The only requirements are having an eligible Social Security claim number and falling under the income limits. Income limits for receiving the stimulus. Unlike previous stimulus checks, this new $2,000 payment does not have any income limits. As long as you have an active Social Security claim number, you will receive the full amount regardless of your yearly income. The first stimulus payment under the CARES Act included a phase-out for incomes over $75,000 for individuals and $150,000 for married couples. The second payment under the December 2020 bill had those limits start at $87,000 and $174,000. But to ensure Social Security recipients receive the money quickly, this third check does away with income limits altogether. All beneficiaries who qualify should get the full $2,000 stimulus payment. When you will receive the $2,000 stimulus deposit. The IRS and Social Security Administration expect to send the new payments by direct deposit starting February 16, 2024. The deposits will continue over the following weeks until all eligible recipients have received their money. Paper checks may take several additional weeks to arrive by mail. The stimulus money will deposit directly into the same checking or savings account that you receive your monthly Social Security benefits. Since there is no application process, the easiest delivery method is through direct deposit. If you receive SSI but do not have a bank account set up for benefits, you may need to wait longer for a paper check. To get it quicker, sign up for the Direct Express debit card through the Treasury Department. This card allows you to receive benefits electronically even without a bank account. What to do if you don't receive the stimulus payment? Since the stimulus checks go out automatically, you likely will not need to take any action. However, mistakes can happen, especially with administering millions of payments. If you qualify for the stimulus but have not received it by the end of March 2024, you can take steps to claim your money. First, check your bank account for pending deposits that have not yet cleared. The payments take several days to process through the banking system. Next, Verify that the Social Security Administration has your current address and banking information. If not, update your account details so you get the payment as soon as possible. Finally, if it is past the middle of March and you still have no stimulus payment, you can file for the recovery rebate credit on your 2024 tax return. This credit allows you to claim any stimulus money you qualified for but did not receive. Just make sure to keep the confirmation letter you receive from Social Security after the payments go out. Will the stimulus affect Social Security benefits? The good news is the stimulus payment will not negatively impact your regular Social Security benefits. It does not count as income that could reduce your monthly benefit amount. You can accept the $2,000 without worry. Social Security deductions happen when you earn other income through wages, self-employment, interest, or dividends. But these special stimulus payments are not considered earned income. They will be deposited separately from your monthly benefits and will not affect your eligibility at all. You also do not have to pay back the stimulus money at tax time. These checks are actually tax credits paid out in advance. So you do not owe any taxes on the payment even though it will likely impact your tax refund amount. Use the money wisely for financial stability. A sudden influx of $2,000 gives you the chance to catch up on bills, pay off debts, or boost your savings. Be smart with how you use the stimulus funds. Avoid spending it on unnecessary purchases.
Instead, create a plan to achieve long-term financial goals. Pay off credit cards, loans, medical bills. Add to an emergency fund. Save for retirement. Make home repairs. Build up the education fund for kids slash grandkids. Donate to charity. The stimulus can bring some relief, but Social Security recipients still face financial challenges. These tips can help you maximize the money. Track expenses to cut monthly costs. Call bill providers to negotiate rates. Combine errands to save on gas. Use coupons, loyalty programs, and cash back apps. Cancel and use subscriptions and memberships. Access food assistance like SNAP benefits. Move somewhere with a lower cost of living. $2,000 goes quickly, so spend wisely and avoid impulse purchases. A few savvy financial moves will stretch your stimulus funds and Social Security income further. The Social Security Administration has announced that Social Security beneficiaries are set to receive their second increase payment of the year very soon. Those who receive Social Security benefits and who were born between the 1 ST and 10 TH of the month will be receiving their boosted checks tomorrow, on February 14 TH. For beneficiaries born between the 11 TH and 20 TH of the month, your increased payments will arrive on February 21 Saint. And finally, for those with birthdays after the 21 ST, you can expect to see your bigger Social Security deposits on February 28 TH. This payment increase is thanks to the Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA, that took effect this January. The COLA is meant to help Social Security keep pace with inflation, so beneficiaries don't see the purchasing power of their benefits eroded over time. This year's COLA is a massive 8.7%, which is the highest increase in over 40 years. That means the average retiree is now receiving about $140 more per month in their Social Security checks and the maximum monthly benefit has gone up by $347 to a total of $4,873. So in these upcoming payments this month, you should see a nice boost to your regular Social Security benefits thanks to this historically high COLA. I'm sure we could all use some extra money right now, with prices seeming to go up every day, so this increase is certainly welcome news. Now, in addition to the Social Security COLA, many recipients will also soon be seeing another round of stimulus checks hitting their bank accounts. Here are the details on who qualifies for this additional payment. If you receive SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, or railroad retirement benefits, and you did not file a tax return for 2021 or 2022, you may be eligible for additional stimulus money. This includes people who receive Social Security retirement, survivors or disability benefits, supplemental security income, railroad retirement benefits, or veterans affairs benefits. The key is that if you didn't file a recent tax return, the IRS doesn't know how to reach you in order to send your stimulus payment. So the Social Security Administration is working with the IRS to identify these non-filers who are missing out on stimulus checks in order to make sure you get the additional pandemic relief payments you're entitled to. In order to receive this extra stimulus money, you don't need to take any action or fill out any additional forms. The Social Security Administration will communicate directly with the IRS and facilitate the payment process. These additional stimulus payments should be going out soon, likely by the end of February or early March. The total amount you'll receive depends on your specific circumstances, but could be up to $12 per person. So if you're wondering where your stimulus check is and you fall into one of those benefit categories I mentioned, rest assured help is on the way. You don't need to do anything extra except watch your bank account for the deposit. Between the boosted Social Security checks and the pending stimulus payments, that's going to mean a lot more money in the pockets of seniors and those with disabilities very soon. I'm so glad to see our government taking action to support some of our most vulnerable citizens during these difficult economic times. The extra COLA and stimulus funds are bound to help take some pressure off and provide a sense of financial relief. Now, if you have any questions about whether you're eligible for the upcoming stimulus payments, here are some useful resources. You can call the IRS helpline at 800-900-69887 to get assistance. The Social Security Administration also has a helpful website at ssa.gov stimulus that explains the details and you can find a checklist on their site of what benefits do and do not qualify for the additional stimulus payments. 
The key is that if you're missing stimulus money and you get SSI, SSDI, VA, or railroad retirement benefits, you don't need to do anything extra. The Social Security Administration and IRS are coordinating to make sure you get your payment. One last tip if you do receive Social Security or any of the other qualifying federal benefits I mentioned, but you did file a tax return for 2021 or 2022, you likely already got your stimulus payment. So this additional batch of checks is really focused on those who haven't filed recent returns and fell through the cracks. Recently, the Social Security Administration put out an advisory stating that you should not laminate your Social Security card. I know many of us like to laminate important documents to protect them, but laminating your Social Security card can actually prevent officials from being able to verify the security features on the card. This is really crucial information that could impact your ability to receive stimulus checks and other benefits. Now I don't want to panic anyone, but this is pretty serious. If you have laminated your Social Security card in the past, you may need to take steps to replace it with a new non-laminated card. I'll provide all the details on that process shortly. First though, let me provide some background on why laminated cards are an issue. As you all know, social security cards are very important documentation needed to work, collect benefits, file taxes, and more. The government uses the security features on the cards, like the specific ink or embossed print, to verify their authenticity. If a card is laminated, it can obscure or distort these security features, preventing the card from being validated. With the government stimulus checks being distributed, it's extra important that your social security card pass verification. If it doesn't, your stimulus could be impacted or delayed. Some tax preparers and banks may also reject laminated cards when processing your taxes or setting up accounts. I want to emphasize that this laminating issue affects your stimulus check eligibility. As I'm sure you all know, another round of federal stimulus aid is in the works this year. Specific payment amounts and eligibility rules are still being negotiated in Congress. But in past stimulus rounds, a valid social security number was required to receive stimulus funds. If your laminated social security card cannot be authenticated, it could potentially disqualify you from getting a stimulus payment. This is really alarming news. Who would have thought that laminating a document to protect it could ultimately prevent you from receiving financial aid in a time of need? I certainly had no idea, and I'm guessing many of you were unaware too. Now don't freak out just yet. I'm going to explain what you can do if you have a laminated social security card. The Social Security Administration states that you should discontinue using your laminated card for identification purposes. Instead, you'll need to apply for a replacement card from the SSA. I'll outline exactly how to request a new card in just a bit. I want to pause here for a moment to let this news sink in. I know it can be shocking and concerning to hear that your social security card suddenly becomes invalid if laminated. Please know that I only aim to provide helpful information to keep you all informed and aware. Don't shoot the messenger. It's very important though that you take action to avoid any complications with stimulus payments, work documentation, taxes, and anything else that requires SSN verification. Let's go over the steps. First, if you have an existing laminated social security card, stop using it as identification right away. Do not show this invalid card to any government agency, employer, or financial institution. Next, you need to apply for a replacement social security card from the SSA. This can easily be done online by creating a My Social Security account. You can also request a new card by mail or in person at your local SSA office. 